Well, moving further afield now, and the gruesome task of recovering bodies from the downed air Asia plane continues throughout the weekend. Bad weather and poor visibility underwater had hampered efforts, but with better conditions, the search for flight data recorders uh, has resumed. And the response to a request from Indonesia, a Chinese naval rescue vessel left a military port in South China's Hainan province on Monday night to join the search. The Yongxing Dao is expected to arrive on Friday in the area where the jet disappeared. It equipped with underwater search and detect devices and a team of 48 divers. The Yunxing Dao and crew also assisted in the search for the ill-fated Malaysia Airlines flight MH370. Now CCTV's uh, Clementine Logan has more. As the search for the missing Air Asia passenger jet resumes, China sent a search vessel to the Java Sea on Monday. It joins nine other ships from four countries scouring the area. It's capable of detecting black box recorders and is expected to arrive this coming Friday. We will mainly provide data analysis, such guidance, as well as intelligence support and relevant personnel who can help with decision making. Ships and aircraft on the hunt for debris and bodies from flight QZ8501 widened their search area on Monday, eight days after the plane crashed in the Java Sea. The main focus of the search is about 90 nautical miles off the coast of Borneo Island, where five large objects believed to be parts of the plane have been pinpointed in shallow waters. So far, scores of bodies have been recovered and more than a dozen identified. On Monday, an Indonesian naval search and rescue ship returned to Surabaya port carrying more bodies and parts of the wreckage. We retrieved 10 bodies during our one-week operation and several objects which mostly were parts of the Air Asia plane. All objects will be handed over to the National Committee of Safety and Transportation. Indonesia's meteorological agency has said seasonal tropical storms probably contributed to the crash. But until investigators can examine the recorders, the cause of the crash remains unknown. Clementine Logan, CCTV.